guys, Melissa Prophet here, Education and Communication Specialist from the Warren County Soil and Water Conservation District. And here with me is Jora. Now, during National Association of Conservation Districts National Stewardship Week, we are talking all thing pollinators because where would we be without our pollinators? So we're going to show you a very easy activity that you can do with kids at home to show this idea of how pollinators pick up the pollen on their bodies and then move those around to different plants. So my helper here has drawn a little picture for us. So what you can do is have the kids at home, they're going to draw a picture of different flowers and then you're going to use different colored chalk to color in that flower, making sure to leave some of the chalk dust on the flower petals. Now we've each created a different pollinator. Do you want to show them yours? Mine's a bee. Yep, she's got a little bee. Can you hold it to the camera there? And basically it's a cotton ball covered with yellow and black pipe cleaners. Makes it fuzzy. I've created a little butterfly out of a coffee filter. Again, a cotton ball and more of the fuzzy uh, pipe cleaners there. So what you're going to do is now that our plants are ready, we're going to have our pollinators visit each flower. Now I'm going to just take the pollen. That's right. So with each of your pollinators, you're going to let your pollinator visit each flower. And then if you turn it over, may we see the belly of your bee? You can see the different colors stick to the bee. Can you let the butterfly visit each flower? Again, as pollinators move from plant to plant, they're collecting little pieces of the pollen on their bodies. Beekeepers say that if they watch their bees come through the hive, they know which plants they visited based on the color of pollen. Let's check out that butterfly belly. Excellent. And then you notice that some of the different colored chalk even moves to the different plants. So while doing this activity or after this activity, then you can really start a nice discussion with kids at home about what the pollen is and how the pollinators help to move it around. Enjoy the rest of National Stewardship Week and keep an eye out for those buzzing pollinators. Bye!